Hi, my name is Nadia Malik, and today we'll be discussing UiPath's document understanding capabilities, providing the ability to extract and interpret information from a wide range of document types. For example, these documents may be unstructured, of various file formats, or handwritten, as you'll see examples in our demo. Let's assume I'm needing to process a handful of documents, in our case, a handwritten reimbursement form and a semi-structured invoice. From these, I need the robot to extract the information and enter it into external systems of record. If the robot requires any human in the loop for input, I'll take advantage of UiPath's action center and validation station where I can validate the data, handle exceptions, or do approvals. So let's take a look into how the process was designed. UiPath's document understanding framework is available as drag and drop activities used to build automation workflows in Studio. Initially, the robot will load the taxonomy and I've defined the documents and the data that's going to be processed in our taxonomy manager. So for example, I've defined a semi-structured document that is an invoice and the different fields to extract from it. Next, the robot's going to digitize the document with OCR and we have a handful of integrations out of the box and in our example today, we'll use UiPath's own document OCR. Then the robot will then classify the document and you'll see we have a new intelligent keyword classifier that you're able to retrain using your data set. And then finally, the robot will use an extractor depending on the document type. So for example, it could use regex or our forms extractor for template-based documents Intelligent form extractor would be for any handwritten documents and machine learning extractors used for both semi-structured or unstructured documents. And we have a handful of machine learning models out of the box, for example, for receipts, invoices, purchase orders, and utility bills. We also have country specific invoice machine learning models for India and Australia. So now let's kick off the robot and see it in action. First, the robot loads the taxonomy. Next, it'll digitize the document using our UiPath document OCR. Then the robot will classify the document. And if the robot is not able to auto classify the document, it'll prompt me with the classification station. So in this example for the demo, I have it prompt me with this dialog box to view the classification station. So in this case, I'll select yes. And here we see that it's launched our classification station where the robots identified that this is a reimbursement form. And it has that at 67% confidence. So I'll go ahead and save that. And then the robot will then extract the information based on the document type and apply the appropriate extractor. And now it'll prompt me to view the validation station. And if I select no, it'll open a task and action center for me to validate the data at a later time. So I'll go ahead in this example and click yes. Here we see our validation station, which could be prompted and an attended robot on my desktop. And it presents the document on the right hand side as well as the different fields that it's extracted that's been defined in our taxonomy manager. As I click into the different fields, it'll highlight where it is relevant on the document itself. I can also view the table that it's extracted and correct any details that are needed. I'll go ahead and click save and close. And any changes that I've made the robot will take that information and then process that. Now the robot's prompting me to view the classification station for our second document. In this case, I'll go ahead and select no and have the robot auto classify it behind the scenes. Once the document has been classified, it'll prompt me as it's extracted the information to validate the information. And in this example, I'll go ahead and click no so we can see an example of a task in Action Center. I'll go over and navigate to Orchestrator where I see that I have an Actions tab to access Action Center. So Action Center is a portal. So a business user could see any 
pending task relevant to them. I go ahead and refresh the page in which I see there's a new unassigned task of medium priority to validate the invoice created a few seconds ago. I have the option to assign it to myself and depending on my permissions, I could assign it to others on my team. And just to mention, Orchestrator's Action Center is available through the mobile app as well. So I could validate the information from my mobile in case I was away from my desk. Here I see the invoice on the right hand side. And in this example, we're using the machine learning model. And these are the fields that have been extracted out of the box. You do have an option to retrain our existing models with your own data sets. So this can help and improve the accuracy. And you can notice that the accuracy is relatively high out of the box. I'll go ahead and save the details and continue. So now that I've handled any exceptions and validated any of the data, the robot will finally export that data for further usage. For example, it could email it, export it to a spreadsheet or directly enter it into an ERP system. Document understanding can save plenty of time and costs spent on manual document processing. It helps mitigate the risk of human error, improve compliance and reduce time employees spend on rework. This means increased operational efficiencies and improved customer experience.